Hello and welcome to another episode of Gyromonk Plays Lonely Mountains Downhill. I'll be doing okay. Just okay. I don't want you, you know, getting ahead of yourself here. <laughs> oh man. We reached 100 subs. You can kind of tell what the backlog is um, <laughs> just by me saying that. But we're at 102 and I'm. I am actually speechless. It's one of those situations, it's just like, hmm. It actually can happen. And it makes you feel like, you know, like anything can happen. And I, I know that's like kind of a dangerous um, <laughs> perspective. Uh, at least as far as ex expectations go, but I'm... Like, I'll, I'll be honest with you, like, my expectations were... Hey, uh, I'm gonna record some stuff, and hopefully somebody out there enjoys it. And if they do, hit that, you know, hit that like, hit that, hit that sub, and um, I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, specifically for, like, keeping series around. Like... Obviously a surefire way for me to be like, okay, maybe this series is kind of like, eh, due for like an early end. As if it gets like two views within a whole day. I don't know if that's like a fair way to uh, to assess it, but I feel like it is. Um, but you know, at some point maybe we have a different barometer. I mean, as as long as people are enjoying them, I'm gonna put you know post stuff daily. Um, obviously, I'm I'm constantly looking for other games to uh, to check out and um, share with you guys. Uh, Stretchers is... I, I feel like it's coming to a close. Pretty soon, so we're gonna have other games to check out with, uh, with the wife. Yeah, maybe, like, make that a series in of, of itself. It's just, uh... Me and, um, me and Ashley, me and Waffle Cat. The Gyro Waffle series. I feel like it's a pretty good one, so... We kind of have good chemistry, you know. We did get married and all. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'll be honest. Like, some people that are married kind of have bad chemistry, you know. And they just, like, they, they kind of use it as, like, a... Um, a, a way to sharpen your personality type thing, you know. Like, you marry the exact opposite of yourself so that you can... I don't know. One, torture yourself, sure. <laughs> and then two, um, I guess become a better person? Uh, question mark? I, I couldn't see a thing. A lot of you uh, single fellas are probably like, or ladies. Is fellas just, I thought fellas was used like guys. Where you can you know, use it universally. Um, I know we just lost the uh, the shirt, but I'm honestly just practicing max speed with this thing because that's what it excels at. I could tell how how much faster it is, so I'm trying to make use of that. But it's it's a little bit difficult. We are using the javelin, by the way, in case anybody was wondering why I'm crashing so much. It, it's got a lot less grip, but it's also got a lot more speed and uh, stamina bar. Um, it doesn't have as much shock absorption, so it, it's got its fair share of negatives, but... Oh, man. I feel like it's definitely not in my favorites, but it, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be useful for specific runs, like speed runs, especially with ones with like a lot more straight lines. Uh, maybe we should go back to the first world. Let's go back to uh, to the to the Greater Horn or Redmore Peaks, even. You know, I'm actually thinking maybe this first. Um, First section here. 
There we go. 255 with eight crashes or fewer. Let's do it. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, like, if you're wondering what games we're going to check out, I mean, it, it, it just really depends on what games click. You know, there's only, there's very specific things we look for in a game uh, as far as something to play together. Um, like puzzles are nice, uh, something that's, um, maybe a little bit, mm, I wouldn't say like easier, but definitely not tough as nails, definitely not like a Dark Souls type game. Uh, we tried to play Remnant, <laughs> and that's a good example of something that, uh, Ashley's not gonna really enjoy as much, but maybe I, I play that with somebody else, like my brother. If we could finally get him on board with something. Yo, this is awesome. Oh my goodness. We are so fast. I don't know how we're going to do this with um, eight crashes or fewer. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is so fast, dude. Okay, well. I wish there was a co-op roguelike. And I, as I say that, a couple games do come to mind. Um, but all of those games, uh, <laughs> she's probably not gonna enjoy. So like, you know, Enter the Gungeon has a co-op mode. We've already tried that. Um, Binding of Isaac has a co-op mode. Um, she, she's not about that kind of um, aesthetic. And honestly, like, I feel like at some point maybe we might delve into those kinds of games, like darker themed games. Um, but I don't know about like as, as a, like a let's play. Let's play. Maybe there's a time slot we could do for like scarier games or things with more mature themes or whatever. Um, but I feel like a, a lot of those games I'm gonna already leave to uh, to stream, and then maybe it shows up as a vod, you know, if that. I've been really thinking about the the balance of that. That VOD YouTube kind of share. I, I feel like all, like, there's a couple ways of doing it. I know a couple of streamers that split it into a different YouTube channel than the one that they do Let's Plays and their actual content, and I feel like that's kind of a waste. You know, it, it all depends. You know, I'm obviously not a subject matter expert <laughs> just because I hit 100. I don't even know what we can do with a hundred. I think we can we can maybe try for a custom URL. I don't know if that's still a thing. You know what? Let's just try to beat this level. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to get shortcuts through, and I don't I don't think it's I don't think that's how you play the javelin. Like. Uh, I don't think shortcuts are going to be even as viable, to be straight up honest with you. Oh my... <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. This is intense. What? What's the bump? Oh boy. Alright, we're already at seven crashes. Disregard. I I thought we were gonna hit that branch and I was gonna be mad about it. Okay. Uh, should we take the shortcut? We probably should. Just the fact that we questioned it might have cost us some time here. But, wow, we still beat the last... Um, oh, wow. That's actually extremely impressive to me. Um, 
Unfortunately, that is our last of our mistakes. To be able to make... Okay, we're fine. Fine. We're fine. Yeah, we're good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're not fine. <laughs> Let's restart that run. Okay. Oh, just breathe. This Xbox Game Pass is kind of a... Uh, it's kind of becoming like a big deal, isn't it? Especially if Halo Reach comes out on it. Dude. Like, it, Xbox is making an insane deal. And um, I'm, I'm just... I'm counting the hours for when they realize that. <laughs> and then start charging what they actually uh, mean to charge. Um, it's going to be... It's going to be a sad day. What do you think Xbox Game Pass would be like a fair price for? I mean like maybe like a seven fifty ten dollars. Um personally speaking, this is what I play. This is what I play on the Xbox Game Pass. Um I I dabble in some games. I checked out Outer Worlds, not for me. Um You know, there's a couple games that I'm interested in, like platformer-wise, uh, but I don't know if I'm ever going to get to those. Um, Astroneer, I want to play. I know. What about Astrofar? <laughs> what about William Defone? Defone, really? That looks like a ramp, doesn't it? Let's restart this. Let's try one more time. One more again. As they would say in my old high school. What were we talking about earlier about relationships and sharpening each other's person personalities? I feel like it, uh, it, it kind of makes sense. Like if you complement each other yeah, in, in enough ways where the sharpening isn't detrimental. <laughs> I feel like that could happen though, like where there's too much clashing. Um, I'm not talking about the cla- hop. That hop though, it's dangerous. It's funny because I, I, I always felt like me and my wife are kind of on the same spectrum for for the most part but always like a a different angle at the same idea if that makes sense like we are like for example I am an introvert that is selectively extroverted you know if I've got the energy for it <laughs> and she's an extrovert that's selectively introverted when she's um when she wants to Recharge like if she doesn't technically um, she, do she doesn't necessarily gain energy from Being extroverted, but she really likes you know being outspoken and being uh, and, and um, I mean she's uh, she's a teacher so You know th that obviously has uh, a part in it um, but for me you know, I, for the most part, I, I kind of want to stick to myself. <laughs> and then when I feel like, um, I feel like it's fun time, I <laughs> start talking to people. Now, if you get me on subjects that I, um, that I know, I'm probably not going to shut up. <laughs> you probably know a lot of nerds like that. <laughs> I think Greg Miller has that shirt <laughs> that I talked about before. <laughs> um, I'm an introvert, but if you want to talk games, dude, I'll talk your ear off. And that's that's pretty. It's pretty close to what I equate myself to. Um, I 
Yeah, so I I was uh I was asked today like um I I I was kind of like evaluating what my career path was. You know, kind of like our previous conversation a couple episodes ago. Um and I was asked the question like what makes streaming or like creating videos different from you know like leading a conversation in in tech support in like train uh, in in that conversation of um, how to fix an issue I, at first I, I've been asked that question before and I, I couldn't really answer it I couldn't figure it out but I I think it's more like a well first of all it's a fun factor thing <laughs> Obviously, I'm playing games here, and just uh, just talking kind of nonsense. I'm just saying what's on my mind. But uh, also, this is kind of like a showmanship thing and, and a creativity thing for me. Um, whereas you can't be... It's not really a creativity thing at whatsoever when you're on a call trying to fix you know, a company's big problems. It's just, uh, you know, I feel like the, the difference is there. When you put it that way, it's, it's extremely apparent. But, of course, being myself, I have to, uh, I have to give myself, like, a 15 minute to two hour buffer from a question to, to be able to answer it properly That's the other thing that's like uh, kind of stumping me as far as um, I Guess not stumping me, but like it, it's more of a benefit from the YouTube side um, in comparison to The twitch side because some people have been jokingly saying like uh, I prefer making uh, YouTube stuff. Like I, I'm, I'm. Uh, whenever I turn on the Twitch stream, uh, they they go, "Hey, my favorite YouTubers on!" Like jokingly, um, <laughs> and it, it is it, like to some extent. I feel like it's kind of becoming true. Like I spend more time on. Uh, on my stuff on YouTube than I do on the stream just because it's for me it's easier like compartmentalizing my time like separating it all and then you know like working on uh, working on uh, like the the logistics like the the back end stuff just um, whenever I have time like in between yeah you know, being a dad and working Full time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's all. I'm glad that people are actually enjoying this. Like, if you got to the end of this video, and <laughs> you're obviously enjoying these, so I appreciate you very much. Um, yeah, I appreciate all the other people that aren't listening to this either. Obviously, um, if you're if you're a Stretchers and a Unrailed fan, and you just subbed for. <laughs> For those and somehow bleeding into these other ones, you know, it's just I it, The the toughest part about the YouTube side is finding something that clicks with you and with the audience and just uh, Yeah, that's honestly like that. That's the main concern The main thing that probably like YouTube wants you to find too for yourself, but All right, we're, we're getting a little bit <laughs> Carried away with this conversation, but no, I'm, I mean it was it was a good conversation to to have to to spill out my guts. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to watch future episodes, hit that sub button. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your your support, time wise and uh, comments and likes and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.